Hello and welcome to Thought for August the 11th. Our readings are 1 Kings chapter 6, Jeremiah chapter 32 and Mark chapter 6. And our thought is, nothing is too hard for you. The book of Jeremiah confuses us a little because it is not written in chronological order. Today's 32nd chapter starts by telling us the word of the Lord came to him in the 10th year of Zedekiah, verse 1. At that time, the army of the king of Babylon was besieging Jerusalem, we read in verse 2. We do not know which month, but chapter 39, verse 2, tells us that in the 11th year of Zedekiah, in the fourth month, a breach was made in the walls and the Babylonians captured the city. Today's chapter is about a very critical time. Jeremiah is at times a mental iron man because of his faith in God, but at times he falters. The word of the Lord came, we read in verse 6, telling him his cousin was coming to ask him about to buy a field that is in Anathoth. And when his cousin comes, he remarks, then I knew that this was the word of the Lord. After the transaction is finalised, he prayed to the Lord, saying, Ah, Lord God, it is you who has made the heavens and the earth by your outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Verses 16 and 17. Yet his faith is struggling as events get worse, and siege mounds have come up to the city to take it, we read in verse 24. And there is famine and pestilence, and he asks, Yet you, O Lord God, have said to me, Buy the field, though the city is given into the hands of the Chaldeans. Verse 25. Especially note the response from God. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? Verse 27. God is quoting back to Jeremiah his words that nothing was too hard for him. Jeremiah's struggle with faith may be paralleled in the experiences of the faithful. Our experiences, as the world that we are so familiar with falls apart, for, as we will read next week in Mark, Jesus forecasts a time of such tribulation as has not been since the beginning of creation. And if the Lord had not cut short the days, no human being would be saved. But for the sake of the elect whom he chose, he shortened the days. Chapter 13, verses 19 and 20. This is described from the divine perspective of foreknowledge, as though it has already happened. Romans 8, and verses 28 to 30 uh, tell us. Back in Jeremiah, we see how our chapter concludes with the prophet receiving a heart-stirring vision of the ultimate future for his people, verses 37 to 41, a future which will also embrace God's people whom he has called out from among the Gentiles, as Romans 9, uh, verses 24 to 26 also records. May we maintain our faith in God. May Jeremiah's words be part of our prayer to our Heavenly Father. Nothing is too hard for you. Uttered with increasing faith. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. <music>